In this video, we will demonstrate how to wire the Phi batteries in parallel using battery cables. To do this, you will need the following tools. Safety gloves, a torque wrench, an 11 16 inch socket, and a 3 8 inch socket. Before wiring the Phi batteries, make sure all the battery's built-in breakers are in the off position. Place the positive and negative cables onto each battery's corresponding positive and negative terminal posts. Watch the How to Connect a Lug to the Terminals video for a more detailed explanation. You can find this on the Simplify YouTube channel. Land the battery's negative cables on the DC negative bus bar or plate in either a battery combiner box or in the inverter's power panel. Make sure all the battery's cables are identical length and gauge. Tighten the cables to the DC negative bus bar or plate according to the third party manufacturer specifications. To take full advantage of the battery's combined surge rating, the DC bus bars or plates rating should match the battery's 60 amp DC surge rating multiplied by the number of batteries in the bank. So for instance, these three batteries should be wired to DC bus bars or plates that are each rated at a minimum 180 amps DC. Land each of the battery's positive cables onto the DC positive bus bar or plate. Remember, these cables are identical length and gauge, not only to each other, but also relative to the negative cables. Tighten the cables to the DC positive bus bar or plate according to the third party manufacturer specifications. Although you might be used to paralleling lead acid batteries using battery to battery interconnect cables, Simplify does not recommend this wiring method. In order to not void your Simplify warranty, Make sure you follow the wiring guide and installation manuals that you can find in the support section of our website. 